Hi, this is JP from Now the Lights Over Arkham. This time I will be trying out the brand new Scarlet Witch Zero. And I will be playing the pre-built Justice deck that comes in the Scarlet Witch Hero pack. I decided to try Scarlet Witch out against Kang on standard difficulty with the uh, recommended Temporal Modular set. Nothing much to say about the deck, so let's get started. Okay, so one thing I nearly forgot to do was to uh, remove the obligations from the uh, encounter deck. So Scarlet Witch has two obligations, so I don't think if it's a big advantage in this scenario, but at least we don't have to deal with those two obligations. Uh, other than that, we are going to face uh, Luminous in stage 3. So we'll at least see the Nemesis minion in play if we get that far. So I have pre shuffled the deck, so let's draw our open hand of 5 cards. Uh, 6 cards, I mean. Okay, so we get Hexbolt, Order and Chaos. Turn the tide, Molecular Decay. Strength and Spiritual Meditation. So, right away, I'm thinking of mm, getting rid of the Turn the Tide, uh, Order and Chaos. And uh, we could uh, actually keep Molecular Decay and heal damage. Not sure about the hex bolt. Well, I'll keep the rest and we'll draw two more cards. We get Scarlet Witch's Crest and Hex Bolt. So I will use as first action the Spiritual Resolve to draw two cards. Then we discard one card. We don't really need the Swift Retribution, but this is a really good pickup. I'll use the Energy to play the Scarlet Witch's Crest. Then we still have plenty to play the Molecular Decay. So I'll uh, switch to Hero Mode. We'll hit for one to remove the tough. Then I'll use Hex Bolt and Strength to play Molecular Decay. So this is a really powerful card if we hit the right uh, encounter card. So we deal 5 damage plus uh, we reveal 2. Uh, so unfortunately we hit a card that doesn't give any boost cycles, but we can use the Scarlet Witch's Crest to boost this to 3, so we deal 8 damage. So... We are already almost through the first stage of Kang. And I'll keep the Hex Bolt in hand and ready up. Go back up to 5. Uh, actually, uh, I'll actually ignore this one and use the Chaos Control. So, uh, Chaos Control interrupt when boost items on an encounter card would be counted. Discard the top card of the encounter deck and count the number of boost icons on that card instead. Limit once per phase. So, let's back up a bit. So, we change this one to and we reveal this one and cut these instead so we deal an additional two damage I nearly forgot about that interaction okay uh, we're ready and we'll draw back up to five okay we get speed magic shield hex bolt the power of justice and we had the one hex bolt already we go to the villain phase we add a threat to the main scheme. I'll add another threat when Kang attacks. I won't defend. So Kang hits for 2 plus 2, so 4. We could use the crest, but I'll, I will think I'll save it for later. So we'll take 4 damage. Uh, encounter. Yeah, uh, at the start of the game, we should have uh, dealed one encounter card which I usually forget when I'm playing Kang. So we'll just deal two now because I'm not reverting 
back to that. So first one is depowered. We cannot play hero specific cards. Uh, okay, I think we need to go to Alter Ego then uh, to get rid of this. And uh, the second one is corrupted time stream. Okay, well, uh, I think we are playing speed next turn to get rid of that, but uh, let's go to next turn to see what we can do. So, the powered stops us from playing the Scarlet Witch cards, but won't stop us from playing uh, Aspect cards. So, I'll play speed, I'll use uh, the power of uh, Justice, and might as well use both of the Hex Bolts. And then uh, speed will vote for two here because we need to get rid of the corrupted time stream to go to alter ego and get rid of the depowered. Then, as a trigger, uh, when uh, speed towards ready uh, speed, we meet one spot round, so we'll board again, remove two from here. Actually, let's not do that. Or, yeah, let's do it because we can heal with Scarlet Witch. So I'll flip to Wanda Maximov. Then I will discard a hero specific card to get rid of this. Then I'll heal. So, heal for 3 damage. We'll ready up, go back up to 6, Swift Threat Diffusion, Molecular, AK, Heroic Intuition, Crisis Averted, Times 2, and Chaos Magic. Okay, so we can do a big turn next turn with Chaos Magic to get rid of at least a lot of Doom. We'll go to the Villain phase, we add a threat to the main scheme. Uh, can draw uh, schemes for 1 plus 1. I could use the Scarlet Witch's Crest, which I'll do because I'm not doing any of these, so we'll just add one here. Encounter card for this turn is Stolen Memories, so we need to take 8 cards, put them underneath the Stolen Memories. And that is that. So that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. I think we need to try to find some useful cards from our deck this turn. So I'm uh, discarding Crisis Averted and Swift, Swift Retribution. No, I'll use keep that. I'll discard both of the Crisis Averted cards to draw two cards with Wanda Maximum's ability. Well, I got Hex Bolt and Crisis Averted. Not that useful. Then I think I will use Chaos Magic to play Eric Intuition. Then I'll discard Crisis Averted get rid of the stolen memories. This go into my discard. Let's see what we lost. So we lost molecular decay, multitasking, spiritual meditation, other multitasking, then the tide, I got the harkness with retribution and magic shield. Nearly to our deck already. Uh, I'll flip to hero. And uh, I think this turn I'll hmm, I'll play the hex bolt. I'll use the molecular decay and swift retribution. To play that. So we reveal three cards from here. I'll just take the hex bolt view so I can check the results. So. We have two damage, two, uh, uh, I mean two boost, two boost and one boost. Uh, one boost uh, removes two threat, that's okay. But uh, we really want to deal two damage to Kang. 
So instead I will do... Oh uh, yeah, we don't have the crest ready. That's a bummer. Well, uh, let's draw cards with these. So we remove two threats. Then uh, we draw two cards. Okay, well, we'll play Beacon. That, <laughs> that was a good draw two cards. So we get Beacon. And uh, Beacon will. Uh, yeah, we call and uh, Scarlet Witch both will hit for one. And I'll save the speed for later. So, uh, can one stage one is defeated. So, when defeated, advance the main scheme to stage two at the end of the phase. So, this is the end of the phase. We're ready up. We draw back up to five. We advance to phase two. So, the Master of Time. When revealed, place one acceleration token here for each side scheme to play, then discard each side scheme. Each player reveals a random stage 3 in turn order. Remove any unused stage 3 schemes from the game. So, let's pick up the... So, I, I'll do it this way, that because now I can uh, randomly pick one of these without knowing what I get. I'll get that um, main scheme in play. So we get the Kang Iron Lad. So we remove uh, the rest of the stage 2 Kangs from the game. And we get the Inexorable Faith. And the rest are removed from the game. Then uh, Kang has 18 health. And also tough. And then uh, we start with one threat on the uh, main scheme. Let's check this first. So, a forced response after this stage is completed. Place one Sattasat Kang's Dominion phase up under stage 4A at the end of the phase. Remove Kang, Iron Lad, and this stage from the game and combine your game area with another game area. So, as we are playing a true solo, we just go to um, Act 4 when we advance. Then uh, forced interrupt when an acceleration token would be placed on another scheme, place it here instead. So that is that, but uh, now we have the hand for next turn here. So we start the villain phase, uh, we add a threat to the main scheme. Kang Iron Lad attacks. I think I'll just defend with Scarlet Witch. So, 2 plus. If Kang tough status card, well, lucky we already had it. So, we don't take any damage. The uh, encounter card for this turn is uh, Temporal Shield. So, we need to get rid of that. And that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. I think first we are uh, cycling our deck, so I'll use spiritual meditation to draw two. And then we need to discard one. And we can't play turn the tide, so I'll just discard that. Actually, well, it, it doesn't matter because I uh, will play Quicksilver with this, so I'll use this to play Quicksilver. Then Vikan will thwart for one. Then we'll 
use Dickens ability to reveal an encounter card. We'll uh, boost that by one, so we deal one damage. So this is not an attack, so uh, we don't uh, use the temporal shield. We just deal one dam damage there to get rid of the tough. Then uh, speed will hit for one damage. This will get bounced off to my identity. Then Quicksilver will hit for two damage. And ready and hit for another two. And that is my turn, so we're ready up. And we draw back up to 5, so we get an extra encounter card for the king out. So we get 5 cards. Okay, uh, we get power of justice, molecular decay, turn the tide, magic shield, and multitasking. Uh, Kang adds one threat to the main scheme. Uh, Kang will attack, speed will defend, Kang hits for two, oh yeah, um, we actually got defeated with Quicksilver, so I think I'll, yeah, I'll just get defeated, because I forgot to retaliate one, so, yeah, <clears throat> back to the attack of Kang, so two plus, uh, give Kang a tough status card. So I'm actually using the Chaos Control. So I'll ignore this. And I'm boosting this so we'll get three, but it doesn't matter because this gets removed. And we get on the cards, first one is advance. So one plus two, so three. And the second one is time travel tactics. I have no obligations in play. And this guy insert. So future weapons. Okay. So, that is that turn. Let's go to the next hero phase. I think I forgot to add damage to Beacon last time I used him. Okay, um, I think... I'll use... Multitasking. Played with the power of justice. Or, hmm, we have molecular decay in hand. So let's just try to burst down. So, first thing is to hit with the thwart with beacon. So it's down to four. Then we'll reveal a boost card from here. Just Boost that by one, so we'll deal three damage. Then I'll play Molecular Decay. I'll use Turn the Tide, Power Justice, and Multitasking to play that. Uh, so we reveal two. Well, I'll use the uh, Chaos Control to ignore that and reveal another. Well, it didn't help. So, unfortunately, we deal only six. And uh, I think I'm thwarting for three. Then I'll... Uh, hmm, that gains overkill, so I think... I think I'll just tank it with Scarlet with this turn. So, we keep the magic shield in hand, I'll draw back up to 5. Uh, we get strength, heroic intuition, 
crisis averted, turn the tide and magic shield. We go to the villain phase. Oh yeah, Vikan is defeated already. Sorry about playing a bit messy, but <laughs> uh, sometimes I had a long day and might forget stuff. So uh, we add a threat. Kang Iron Lad attacks. Oh yeah, I took one retaliate. Getting everything. So yeah, I'll defend. So 4 plus 2, I'll use the crest to drop that to 5. And minus 2 is 3. So I take 3 damage. This is gone. Encounter card is Tyrannosaurus Rex. Well, ain't that a bummer? Well, nothing we can do about that. Comes into play with tough. That is that turn. Let's go to the next hero phase. So, I think I'm just getting rid of the threat here. And I'll play down the magic shield. And I'll go to Alter Ego to recover a bit. So we're ready up. Draw up a couple of six. So we get Magic Shield, Multitasking, Genius, Power of Justice, Crisis Averted, and X Bolt. We go to the villain phase. We add a threat. Kang schemes for 1, plus I'll use this to drop that to 1. Then the Rex doesn't for a scheme. We get an encounter card and it is stolen memories again. So we lose 8 cards underneath that. And that is the villain phase, so let's go to the next hero phase. Okay, well, we need to find a way to deal with that Tyrannosaurus Rex. And um, so I think I'll use the discard 2 cards. Draw two cards ability. I really don't need these cards right at this moment. So we'll draw two. So we get the Chaos Magic and the Molecular Decay. Okay, well, this is something I can work with. So I'll heal. I'll flip. Oh, uh, before that, I'll use the, this to get rid of this to get these back into my deck. Okay, so a lot of um, justice cards. Okay, okay to lose those at this moment. Then we'll flip. Uh, then I'll play this and this and. Yeah, so I'll use Genius to play Hexbolt. So we'll discard three from here. Okay, uh, so we got Assault, so I can deal two damage here to remove the tough. Then I will remove two threat from here and draw a card. So that Hexbolt worked out quite well. Then I'll use Chaos Magic to play Molecular Decay on the Tyrannosaurus Rex, so we'll uh, discard two cards from here, and we just got the one boost to deal six damage here. And I'll use the Crisis of Earth to play another Magic Shield. And we ready up and draw up a couple of five. We get Magic Shield, Hexbolt, Energy, Warp Reality and Molecular Decay. So we add a threat to the main scheme. Uh, Kang attacks. I think I'm okay defending. So we take 
5. I'll just loot one magic shield, so minus 2 and minus 3, so nothing. Then encounter card is fast machinations inside one. When revealed, each player searches the encounter deck and discard pile for a different application and reveals it. Shuffle the encounter deck. So, um, I think I'm picking that one. I think I'm okay losing the crest at this moment. So we unfortunately lose the Scarlet Witch's crest. We could cancel that, but I think I need these resources to uh, uh, defeat Kang. Stage 2. Okay, well, uh, we'll go to the, yeah, that, that was the villain phase, we'll go to the next hero phase. So, I could just blast with Molecular Decay, play the Magic Shield and go to Alter Ego. I'm doing that. So... We'll get Luminous, but uh, we need to deal with her later. So let's just uh, defeat Kang State 2 to advance to State 3. So I'll play Molecular Decay, use energy, and uh, X Bolt. So we deal 6, take 1 from the Rift. Uh, actually, we don't take to retaliate because we defeat this stage. And uh, when defeated, remove inexorable fate from the game. And at the end of the phase, join another game area. So, we'll go to Alter Ego. Uh, we'll play the Magic Shield. Then we'll uh, ready up, go back up to 5, uh, actually 6, so we get an extra encounter card. Okay, well, mm, let's see what we can do ne with those cards next turn. Then, uh, at the end of the phase, this goes away. We advance to stage 4, uh, st stage 3 Kang and act 3, uh, 4 A. So when Kang, uh, reveal Kang 3 and add him to the game area, reveal each face down Kang dominion under this stage, there are none. Then when reveal each player searches the encounter deck and discard pile and set aside areas for the nemesis minion and puts it into play. Engage with them, shuffle the encounter deck. There is one card in the encounter deck, so we don't need to do that. Then this goes away. So we go to the villain phase, we are a threat to the main scheme. Kang schemes for two plus one. So we are at four. Then Luminous schemes for two. get an acceleration token because we have to reveal a card. Uh, actually we did this already. And uh, after Luminous activates against you, discard the top card of the encounter deck. If two or more boost icons were discarded this way, deal yourself one encounter card. And it's an advance so we don't get an extra encounter card. Then get an ancient warrior. So that is that, and that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. Okay, and I forgot to add the belt and thought on Kang stage 3, so I'll just do that quickly. 
so 20 health to go and a tough and a couple of enemies so let's see how we can deal with this so I'll start by uh, spiritual meditation Uh, we get crisis averted. It actually could be useful to get rid of the threat so we don't thread out. Um, we need to get rid of something so Swiss Retribution can go. Then I'll just play that again. Uh, Chaos Magic, Molecular Decay. Well, I want to discard. I got uh, hex bolts. No, because we can play hex bolts. But yeah, we'll discard Agatha, and let's uh, draw two cards. Discard one. Okay. So let's see what we can do. So I'll heal for. Uh, 3 damage, so I'm back to full health. I'll flip to uh, hero mode. And uh, let's actually play the hex bolt first. Discarding 3. So we remove 2 threat, remove 2 threat, and a card. Yeah. So for threat gone and draw a card. We get speed. Uh, hmm. Could actually play speed with chaos magic, but well, uh, unfortunately, we're one resource short. And uh, or we could yeah we could play speed but then we don't get to play molecular or decay. We're keeping those in hand. Just play the chaos magic to molecular decay luminous, so it gets defeated no matter what we draw. And uh, I'll just keep these in hand for next turn. Draw back up to five. We have a order and chaos, magic shield, then tide, speed, and power justice ready up. So, Kang attacks. I'll add one track design scheme and one from starting the villain phase. So, I'll take it with Scarlet Witch. This time I won't be. Oh, well, I'll just defend. No. I need to get rid of the tough. Okay, so two. So we'll take four damage. So I'll burn one magic shield. So we only take one. And the uh, ancient warrior hits for two. And counter card is future weapons. Okay. And that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. So um, we want to turn the tide, so I'll use uh, these cards to play speed, and the speed will auto two. then ready, then uh, I'll Hit for one to remove this. And uh, I'll exhaust to remove that. And after your hero towards and removes all threat from a scheme, deal three damage to an enemy. I'll defeat this ancient warrior. You're ready up. Go back up to five. 
molecular decay, hex bolt, multitasking, swift retribution, and turn the tide. Okay, so we get to deal possibly some damage to Kang. So we'll add a threat to the main scheme. I'll add another when Kang attacks. I'll defend with Scarlet Witch. And uh, actually, I'll just take it. So we'll take Kang a tough status card. So oh, that's okay. And uh, take four. I'll burn the magic shield. So I'll only take one. And count the card is Rampage. And. Uh, yeah, I think I've forgotten to add two for a couple of turns now. So I'll add, it, add them now. I had misplaced that <laughs> plus one somewhere. It happens. Well, uh, yeah. So that is the villain phase. Let's not forget the threat here. And let's go to the next hero phase. So this turn I think I will uh vote for two ready and remove the tough speed gets defeated and then uh Scarlet Witch will uh, remove two from here. Then I'll use turn the tide to deal 3 damage. Then I will play Molecular Decay for uh, 5 plus 3. I'll uh, redraw this one. So 5 plus 5, so 10 damage. And uh, that is the villain phase. Uh, I mean, the hero phase. We'll ready up. We'll draw back up to 5, warp reality, crisis averted, molecular decay, multitasking and energy. So hopefully we can survive for next turn. So we can possibly end this. We'll go to the villain phase. We add 2 threats here. We'll add 1 threat. Uh, so Kang doesn't hit so hard. We'll defend. Kang hits for 2 plus 0. So no damage taken. Encounter card is Shadows of the Past, and I'll warp reality that away. So we'll discard two cards from here, and this didn't happen. And that is the villain phase. Let's just double check this card. Yeah. So when an encounter card is revealed from the encounter deck, Cancel all of its effects and discard it. Discard cards from the top of the encounter deck equal to the number of boost items on that card. So that is a really strong cancel, and we had it just in the right moment. So that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next zero phase. Nothing else to do, just we'll play the molecular decay. So five damage, and we need to see two boost icons. So we see three, so that is enough. I'll still use the uh, chaos control to change this one to a. Well, <laughs> still we just dealt two damage, and that is enough. So, yeah, that was a fun game. I have to say, uh, Scarlet Witch is a really interesting hero. I think the pre built deck is not the strongest. Functions quite well as a true solo deck, even against Kang on standard difficulty. I think on uh, Expert, this would be a much more difficult game to win. So, I'm really excited to start uh, deck building for Scarlet Witch and try out some uh, janky deck combos. And of course, we need to see. Wanda Vision deck, so leaders with Scarlet Witch with vision boosting. So maybe I'll do a special video of that sometime, but I'm not sure. Uh, either way, this was the pre built Justice deck for Scarlet Witch. 
uh, against Kang on standard difficulty. Thanks for watching and until next time.